Have you dug into your stamp stash to see if you can combine images together to create one new image? That's exactly what I'm going to do in today's card video, combining this gorgeous floral with these versatile vases to create this fun floral in a bottle. I'll show you step by step how I created this card in today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to another stylish card making techniques video. Today I'm focusing on this versatile vases or vases to stamp set by Alter New. It's a great stamp set. There's another one, earlier one, with different shaped vases. I like this one the best. It's got these thin, tall stem vases, these giant bell jars, and they're really great for combining with other stamps you might have in your stash. As you saw, there's some examples inside the set, and I'm gonna do just that in my video today. There's also a coordinating die set. I'm not going to be using that one today, but it is a good one to have. And then this mask stencil set, which comes with both the negative and positive of the stencil, which is great for masking, both colouring on the inside of the vase and then around the outside as well. And I am going to use that in today's video. Once again, let me apologise for my croaky voice. It's still the same... I think it's bronchitis, they've told me, so uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for my voice to get back to normal, uh, so bear with me. Uh, I'm going to be stamping this large vase, I think it's great for fitting the most of my small floral stamps inside it, and I hadn't at this point decided which one I was going to go for, so I'm stamping it down using Obsidian Pigment Ink. I'm giving myself a solid thick black line here but you'll see I am going to be using artist markers to color my floral so I've grabbed the Builder Garden Nature's Magic it's a delicate outline it fits almost perfectly inside this vase and what I'm going to do is place that negative mask over the top secure it with my misty make sure that outside is masked and then stamp it down this time using permanent black ink and that's because I'm using artist markers, I don't want to smear the ink, and this works great for use with uh, alcohol ink markers. If I'd thought ahead and knew exactly what I was going to be colouring my floral in, I probably would have also stamped the vase outline itself with the permanent black, and maybe stamped it several times to get a thicker outline. And then when I remove that mask, you can see it's captured that floral perfectly inside that jar, or vase. Now I'm going to colour with set D of the artist markers. I think these are now also called Rock Garden. These are my favourite set actually. I love those aquas and the pink colours and they always seem to be my go-to for florals. I just don't have to think too hard because that those blue-green colours go perfectly with the pinks. So to colour in, I've sped this up quite a lot. This is very straightforward, simple colouring. You can see in the top left the colours I'm using. I'm coming in first with the lightest colour, just adding in some blending first off, just outlining where I think I want to add my darker colours, um, and then blending it out with the lightest colour. So I start with the second lightest, blend that out with the lightest, and then I'm coming back in with the second to darkest and deepening up some of those shadow areas underneath the curve of the flower, see towards that bottom floral, in some of those grooves to give that sort of look of folds and then uh, sort of blending that out with the next colour and then pulling it out again and then going back and forth to get a little bit more of a blend. Uh, there is a bit of a trick to this and um, hopefully you can see, even though I've got this sped up, exactly which colours I'm using. You can always pause it just on the screen to see when you're watching this as well. And then I'm going to add some browns in the centre and a little dash of white gel pen off camera just for highlights. Now I'm coming back in with my stencil again because I want to add a little bit of depth to that vase and I'm going to mask it. I'm using a very, very, very pale blue crisp dye ink. This is Polar Bear and a blending tool. You could also use a larger blending tool. I just want to use the smaller one here because I don't want to go all over this 
it too dark I just want to go around the edges and pull in that blue towards the center and then maybe darken it up towards the bottom where the glass is thicker and maybe on the shoulders and then before I remove my mask using some iridescent metallic shimmer ink spray and just off to the side I'm giving it a couple of spritzes as uh, fine as I can get it to get that shimmer on that glass so give it a bit of a glassy look and you can completely leave it like that however I'm gonna do something a little bit extra you'll see in a second first off I need to do my sentiment and you'll see where I lined up that vase on the center of my cardstock I left enough room at the bottom so that when I added my one line sentiment that entire image and sentiment was centered and uh, I'm just grabbing one from the same Versatile Vases stamp set. I think that the font in this stamp set is gorgeous and I just love uh, the look of it. So I'm gonna heat emboss it with some rose gold crisp embossing powder. I've stamped it down with my embossing ink and I did treat that cardstock with a powder tool first just to make sure I didn't get any embossing powder sticking where I didn't want it and then heated it up until it was melted. Now for my final trick, I'm coming in with some Nouveau uh, Crystal Glaze, and this just adds a really thin layer of what looks like, when it's dried, glass over the top. So I start in the center, do an outline, fill it in, and then by the magic of overnight uh, uh, camera trickery, I can show you what it looks like. And you have this gorgeous glass vase with your floral trapped inside, but it's still a one layer card. And I just love the way it looks. Uh, in real life, you can also see that iridescent shimmer spray trapped underneath the crystal glaze. And I mounted that onto a note card. And there's a close up look of what that looks like uh, to the recipient. You will see I did add some antique gold metallic shimmer spray also onto the background off camera as an afterthought, just to tie in with that gold embossing on the bottom. And that finishes my card. I hope you've enjoyed. Please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and uh, subscribe to Altenew if you don't already. Bye. Hello crafters, Jen here. For more tips, techniques, tutorials, and to discover which paper crafting products are right for you, subscribe to Altenew's YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.